Marvel Pops are starting to heat up again. Let's see which ones are on the rise. What's going on everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a good week. Today, we're going to be talking about some Marvel Pops that are on the rise and a few of these guys have some prices that are going to shock you. So without further delay, we're going to jump into today's video. Last Monday, we actually got the trailer for Marvel's Phase 4. We got release dates for a whole bunch of movies, including Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, absolutely love that name, and Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. That's also going to be another great movie. But the next big blockbuster we have is coming this summer with Black Widow, and I cannot wait to see that movie. I am ready for more Marvel in my life. We got Falcon and Winter Soldier a little while ago and WandaVision in the beginning of the year, and I think they've just been doing a killer job with those shows. So, the first pop that we're going to talk about today is a pop that a lot of people have been kicking themselves for not picking up, and that is the Blacklight Carnage. This thing has been absolutely skyrocketing and has no signs of coming back down anytime soon. It is currently going for $220, which is insane. If you were lucky enough to pick it up on the Funko Shop for only $15 and you made a very wise investment that day. Now, I am not surprised because we really recently just got the latest tra trailer for Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. And I think Woody Harrelson was an excellent choice to play the character, and it's going to be so cool to see Carnage for the very first time on the big screen. There's also a lot of Blacklight hype recently, as we're going to be getting some Alice in Wonderland Blacklight products very soon. And we recently got some X-Men uh, Blacklight Pops over at Target. So lots of Blacklight Pops and sodas to get excited about. So no surprise why one of these, um, a very cool mold that I might add, is going up in price significantly. All right, so the next pop we're going to talk about is from a more recent Marvel show. And we actually got the reveal at the end of the show for his official comic book suit. And I thought they did a great job introducing John Walker into the MCU. And here we have the OG US agent pop. This guy's from 2015. And this thing was like $9 for the longest time. And when I found out that US agent John Walker was going to be in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I had a feeling that this pop was going to go up. And now it finally is. He is currently trending for $55. If you're lucky to have him, you're probably a hardcore Marvel fan and you've had him in your collection for a while. I picked him up because I thought it was a Captain America pop way back in like 2016, but then I did some homework and found out that it is not Captain America, but it is another character who proudly holds a shield. And I'll be very excited to see where John Walker's storyline goes in the MCU moving forward now that we've had quite a bit of character development in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. All right, so we can't talk about the Falcon and Winter Soldier without, without talking about the man himself, Captain America. And as a result of the show, it was very good. We have a lot of exciting pops and sodas to look forward to, but some of the original Captain America pops have been going up in value, specifically this pop. This is, I, I think, without a doubt, the best Captain America pop that they have ever made. It is the World War II version of Captain America, of Steve Rogers' Captain America from 2017 Emerald City Comic Con. This pop is currently trending for $200 if you happen to have the con sticker. Now, if you happen to have the shared sticker version, you also made a good investment because this pop is currently going for $85 on PPG. Both amazing pops, regardless of which sticker you have. I, if you're a Captain America, if you're a Captain America fan, you have to have this pop in your collection. It's just the best one, the best mold. I love the old school goggles, his original shield. Throwback to Chris Evans and that amazing Captain America First Avenger movie. I just think all around an incredible pop. All right, so another pop that has been creeping up in price, and not a lot lately, but I think it's going to continue to go up. It's also another older pop from 2016 San Diego Comic-Con. We have the original Doctor Strange pop. 
Now, this one is currently trending for $75 if you happen to have the con sticker, and only going for $44 if you happen to have the shared sticker. Now, we just found out that the second installment of Benedict Cumberbatch's, uh, Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange will be appearing in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness on March 25th, 2022. And I think another Doctor Strange movie is going to be really cool. We're going to see all different realms of magic. It's not my favorite aspect of the MCU, but I could see a lot of different things happening. We're probably going to see Mephisto show up in the MCU. We thought we were going to see him in uh, WandaVision, but we did not. Um, I think there's a lot of character development that we could still see for Doctor Strange, um, even though he's already played quite a big role in the MCU moving forward, but we'll see what happens to him in Phase 4, but in the meantime, I highly recommend going to grab this pop before it gets even more expensive. Alright, so the last character that we're going to talk about today is actually the one with a show on Disney Plus on the horizon, and uh, you guys you guys could probably guess, Loki, all Loki pops pretty much across the board have been skyrocketing, but I picked out three right now that in particular have been going up quite a bit. And starting out with the latest Loki pop that we got on the Funko Shop, this is the glow-in-the-dark endgame version. It is currently going for $120, and I think this is going to be a very important pop moving forward because this is the last moment where we saw Loki in the MCU, and I have a feeling his show, which looks incredible by the way, is going to be picking up right where we left off seeing Loki disappear with the Tesseract. Now his show was supposed to come out on June 11th of this year but however it got moved up to June 9th. So like I said this guy is trending for $120. The glow on it is actually really cool if you have not seen it but some of uh, Loki's other pops have been going up as well. Another pop that's been going up is from the third Thor movie Ragnarok. This guy was in a Marvel Collector Core box, and I kind of like it because Loki's wearing his famous helmet and also supporting his knives in his little battle-ready stance there. This guy's currently going for $110, and uh, if you're a big Loki fan like myself, then you always want to chase the older pops, and this pop has actually been sneaking up in price as well. I just realized I got to get some of these pops in hard stacks. Crazy that I still have them in soft protectors. This is from the second Thor movie, The Dark World. This is the black and white Loki exclusive to Fugitive Toys. This one's currently going for $90. So pretty much all Loki pops right now are skyrocketing. They're going up. If you are a Loki fan, if you're a Marvel fan, then you definitely need to hop on the Loki hype train right now because as soon as the show comes out, all these guys are going to just go for insane prices. I could see the, the Endgame one going for $150, $180, easy. So if you're a Marvel fan, now is the time. So Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I am so excited for Marvel Phase 4. I think we're going to get a lot of excitement moving forward in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Cannot wait to go back to the movies once again and see all these movies on the big screen. However, big shout out to Disney Plus and Marvel because we've truly been enjoying these last few shows on Disney Plus here at home. And I'm really excited for Loki and Hawkeye and She-Hulk and all the other shows that we have yet to come. So it's going to be a great Phase 4. Looking forward to Phases 5 and 6 as well we have tons of marvel goodness on the horizon and if you're a pop collector well it's a great time it's a great time to be a pop collector anyway i hope you guys are having a great day a great week remember like we always say here on Slapshot pops don't stop shooting until you score we'll see you guys very soon